Coming up on Around Kern County, we're sharing important resources for our community amid historic rain and flooding, where you can go to access support following the wet weather. And Touch a Truck is back at the Kern County Library. A look at this amazing event and how your family can get involved when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. Throughout the past few weeks, our county has experienced historic rainfall, leaving many of our areas flooded. The Kern County Fire Department, Sheriff, Public Works, Public Health, Human Services, Animal Services, and many other county departments have worked diligently to keep our community safe and informed during this time. Now that evacuation orders have been lifted, our county agencies are here to support residents and returning to their homes and recovering from this natural disaster. When individuals are returning to their homes, there's some things that they need to keep in mind that the outside of their property may have hazards. There could be trees that have fallen. There could be electrical lines because of those trees falling that are compromised. So when they're approaching their homes, they need to be very mindful of their surroundings. They could have erosion under their driveways. So any of these things could be potential hazards. Individuals right now can still take advantage of the shelters that are in place. And Red Cross is doing a tremendous job of making sure that these individuals have their needs met. They're making sure that they have meals. They're making sure that they have their toiletries, that they can continue to have basic comforts in life as they're transitioning back into their homes. We're still looking at what's going on. We're still making damage assessments. We're still looking to identify hazards in our community. So we are here, we're working for you, and we're gonna to continue to be useful in one way or another throughout this entire rehab and recovery phase as well. For more information on flood recovery resources, health safety tips, and assistance, please visit our website at kerncounty.com. Are you looking for a way to serve our community? Right now, the Kern County Sheriff's Office is hiring for deputy sheriff trainees and deputy sheriff lateral transfers. A $15,000 bonus is being offered to deputy sheriff trainee new hires and a $25,000 bonus and $5,000 relocation bonus is being offered to deputy sheriff lateral hires. To learn more about how to apply for this position, please visit the Kern County Sheriff's Office recruitment website at kcsojobs.org. Kern County is bringing residents closer to government by implementing a new transparency tool when it comes to county finances. Kern County received funding from the American Rescue Plan Act to help our organization recover from the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, residents can access a dashboard to see how each dollar of this funding was and is being spent. Each project is broken down into six categories, including countywide public services, pedestrian safety and infrastructure improvements, homelessness and housing, park and open space improvements, public safety initiatives, and economy, trade, and tourism. The public can access our American Rescue Plan Community Investment Dashboard, which was designed to provide for and encourage engagement from those we serve. This interactive report is in line with our strategic plan as we utilize technology to improve openness, accessibility, and transparency. Let me demonstrate how it works. For priority-specific information, one should click on an applicable icon. There, you'll find a priority summary and an overall budget. For more detailed information, one can select a project which unlocks a description and, where applicable, a picture. To check out this dashboard for yourself, just visit our website at kerncounty.com. And we're ending today with the library bringing back their famous Touch a Truck event. 
Anna Marie Odo has more on how you can get involved. The library is partnering with other county departments to bring this free family fun event back to our community for the first time since the COVID-19 pandemic. This hands-on celebration is geared towards the kid and all of us and gives Kern County's youth the opportunity to actually touch and play with local trucks and equipment. Touch a Truck kicks off on Saturday, March 25th at 10 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. And if your child is sensitive to noise, Touch a Truck is proud to feature a soft and quieter opening at 9.30 in the morning. Families can expect a day full of learning and fun as dozens of community vehicles and booths will transform the Beale Memorial Library into a place of exploration and discovery. The uh, Kern County Library provides for um, all ages of, of people in our community and this event is a hands-on learning experience. In addition to the vehicles we have in the parking lot, we've prepared interactive stations in the library, um, Lego stations, uh, we have organizations giving out free books to build at home libraries, and it's just another way for us to provide for the community. For more information about this upcoming event, just visit the library's website at kerncountylibrary.org. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.